With Halloween being right around the corner and it being the, what, four or five year anniversary of this series, I thought I'd finally get around to doing the idea that I had that made me want to do this series. So let's kick things off and take a trip back to a game we all know and love. Earthbound. We covered the anti-piracy measures long, long ago in like the second or third episode. But that wasn't the original idea I had. Could it have been three? Maybe the crazy side of four side? See, see what I did there? No. We're looking at something that was just before all of that. A little small part in the game that a lot of people might not even think of. Happy Happy Village. My goodness, is that the most non-feeding name that you could throw on something like that. <laughs> when I came to this village, I noticed right off the bat things were very off. Everybody in the town was obsessed with blue. The buildings were blue, cows were blue. It, it was just strange, not to mention the cult members everywhere. That's the main source of this. In this part of the game, you're searching for a character called Paula or whatever you named her. She's being held by the founder of a religion called Happy Happyism. What is Happy Happyism? Let's look it up and find out really quick because I, I don't know at this point. This is a direct quote from the Wikipedia page. Happy Happyism is a form of religion in Earthbound. A cult in nature, Happy Happyism was established by Carpenter. The cult worships the color blue, as evidenced by their mission to paint everything in the world blue. Most members are former residents of Tucson, the nearest town and only access point to the peaceful Rest Valley, where their village headquarters is located. Aspiring members appear to have scheduled meetings with Happy Happiest counselors in order to determine their allegiance to the religion. High-ranked Happy Happiest are directly involved with the operations of the cult's founder. Lower-ranked members are responsible for painting everything. Now let's take a step away for a minute so I can give my opinion, my thoughts. A lot of people say they're similar to the KKK. Um, I've heard... By heard, I mean read little old rumblings long ago on the internet that they had to do with some cult in Japan that would do, like, subway bombings. My personal opinion, I think it might be based off of Jonestown. If you don't know what Jonestown is, look it up. They were a real-life cult that did a mass suicide, and they had pulled people from all over to their little community. They were a self running community and they thought that their rights were going to be taken away from them or something I'm I can't give word for word obviously because I haven't read up on it but their leader issued an order and well apparently this little community had armed guards that told everyone what to do there are actually some real recordings of the person because they documented the whole thing um, a lot of it's missing for whatever known reason but you can look it up just search Jonestown recordings and other than the suicide thing Happy Happy Village is very similar so that's a look at the blue cult in the Happy Happy Village in Earthbound I know this episode was probably a little different and more like the old videos but I wanted to do it all in one take so I hope you enjoyed Happy Halloween <laughs>